If you've ever wondered what happened to the girls of the Facts of Life after they left Eastland School, you're in luck. Today I'm at the beautiful 41 Ocean to see what Mindy Cohen, who played Spunky Natalie, is up to now. Welcome to the show. How are Thank you? Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm good. Thank awesome. you. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. This is so awesome to be hanging out with you. Watched the show as a kid growing up. Let's start with a, a couple of questions. You were actually discovered by Charlotte Ray. True? In high school? Uh, True-ish. 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 It was also Norman Lear and Alan okay. Horn. Um, and they were coming to the school that I was at, which is Westlake School for Girls, which is, which is now Westlake Harvard, but it was an all-girl private school. And they wanted to come and authenticate the scripts and interview girls about what it was like to be in an all-girls school and try and get some script ideas. And I was one of the students they talked to. And um, Charlotte said, you know, you're really funny and I want to write a part for you in my show. And two Wait, days so, later. So this was with no acting experience? No. And I when was they 12. And this is, this is unbelievable. So you're just a normal student, and when you talk to them, you didn't think, oh, I may be in the show? Like No. Oh, my gosh, no. Just it was just to get out of seventh period. So I was just happy, you know, to not be in class. That's awesome. So two days later, you got the role? Two days later, I am in the offices of Norman Lear and reading and in walks in Kim Fields and Gary Coleman and Charlotte Ray, and I was totally freaked out. And um, they gave me a couple lines, and I read with them, and... Natalie was born, and Natalie was the name of Charlotte Ray's best friend in high school, so that's how she got her name. Now, you got to work with some other A-listers today, George Clooney on The Facts of Life and Johnny Depp on 21 Jump Street. You know, when you talk to certain people, they say, some people have that it factor, that as soon as you meet them, you know. Did you know when you met George and Johnny that they had that it factor or no? Johnny especially. I mean, Johnny and I, I actually had gone up to Vancouver on a hiatus from Facts of Life to visit a friend. Holly Robinson, Boom. and met Johnny. We started hanging out, and they all wanted me to keep coming back. And I said, y'all are going to have to write a part for me in a show if you want me to keep coming to Vancouver. And they did. So that was actually um, really cool. So I, I knew from the moment I met Johnny that he was unusually amazing. That's yeah. awesome. And what about George? How was George? George, George? Was, George was great. You know, George was coming off of three or four failed pilots and jobs and so he came you know a little like oh my lord I'm working with girls on a sitcom I mean you know he was at that time just so wanting just to, to be, yeah. get a paycheck as exactly. an actor you know and so he was amazing to have around the set so after hanging out with George Clooney working with Johnny Depp any mm -hmm. memorable interactions with them anything that stands out in your in your mind a conversation you went out to dinner what Anything? Well, uh, personally, there were a lot of great moments, and especially, you know, with George, it was kind of adorable that when he became a regular on Facts of Life, I remember him coming into work, and on lunch, we uh, a couple of us went out, and he had he was driving this big white Coupe de Ville Cadillac, and we went to his apartment, and he knocked on his landlord's door, and he handed over a year's rent, and it was so amazing you know, to see someone who had been working his behind off. On failed shows, now part of Facts of Life. And just being able to do that for himself um, after years of struggling was just amazing. And do you still keep in contact with him? I do. This next question I have to ask, I saw it on IMDB. I know you're probably not gonna comment. Is there any truth to the rumor that you're the godmother of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's kids? There it is. Is that, is that a yes? That is, that... is like the worst doorstop. I'm so sorry. No, I, I adore no, you. no, no, no. Yeah, I but don't. I have to ask. It's I, my, it's I, my. I, it's not so your job. Yeah, I just don't comment. There you go. And that's all I need. See? Thank do, you. Do you ever want to be a full time actress on set ever again? Because those are long, grueling hours. Well, it's so funny that you say ever again. I mean, that's, I, I have gratefully been working yes. and has supported myself as an actress. Unfortunately, nothing has reached the pinnacle of the facts of life. Do yeah. I want to repeat that again? That's for everyone else to decide. Mm -hmm. I just want to keep working. And I, and I think that patience and tenacity and going wherever the opportunities are, which for me in this case is New York now. New York. Um, you know, is, 
is what it's about. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. And make sure you guys watch the show every single day. Yoshow.yahoo.com. And check me out on TV tonight, OMG Insider. Thank you.